Hey guys, what's up? It's Christine Seal, the High Level Queen, and today we are gonna talk about email deliverability, how to fix your deliverability issues, and how to check the status of your email address to see if you've been blacklisted. So let's get started. So for those of you guys who don't know, we actually have a free Facebook group called Marketing Agency Automation Secrets, where we give away hundreds of dollars in free trainings every single week to our members. So click the link below to go check that out. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna teach you guys is about a little bit about the basics of email deliverability, okay? So the first thing is, if you have a dedicated IP address, you're going to wanna set it up for success, okay? Now by that I mean, that you don't just put in a cold list and start blasting people. You're going to want to start slowly and you're going to want to email people who are going to view your content as relevant and are not going to complain that it's spam, okay? So that is the very first most basic thing. Make sure that your emails are relevant and are not spammy in any way. One of the things that you can do to test the spamminess of your emails is go to mail-tester.com and you can send an email, it's gonna give you like a random email address, and you can send an email. Okay, you can send an email, so I'm gonna send this, and I'm gonna say, okay, and then um, in, this, in the body, this is where you're gonna like paste the email that you've written out. Okay, now I'm just making stuff up here, but I'm gonna show you guys how this works, okay? Then what you wanna do is send it, and then you can check your score. And it's gonna do this cute little animation and a little countdown timer. This is really cool because it's free. So it gave me a 9 out of 10, but then it's going to also teach you how to improve it, okay? So there's my message. What does it think I can improve? Okay, so it might be DKM, um, might not be set up, right? That's weird. Um, HTML is in the message. Uh, received a relay in bl.spamcop.net. Well, that's not good. Um, but then this is good reputation plus three. Uh, mail spike good senders. Your SPF is valid. Okay, cool. I'm properly authenticated. It's going to... Okay, so now it says DKM is valid. Then it says my message could be improved, um, but I don't have an unsubscribe header, which is accurate. I just sent an email. So it's gonna give you a list of things that you can improve here. And uh, this is gonna be super important, especially if you're finding that your emails are not going to people's inboxes, okay? Now, the second thing, the second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to wanna use a subdomain that you're only using for emails, okay? So, for example, if you're using Mailgun, it could be mg.yourdomain.com. That's a subdomain, okay? I am a strong advocate for this for several reasons. One is that if you set it up on your main domain, you are risking the uh, validity and the reputation of your main domain, but you're also, <laughs> you're also, you could definitely mess it up. You could mess up your ability to send and receive completely, especially if you're using like G Suite or uh, your domain registrar or your uh, web host for emails. So just do a subdomain. It's not hard at all. Not hard. I have other YouTube videos on how to set this up. Okay. Um, Three, make sure that you set up your SPF records. When you set up your email, it's gonna give you SPF record to set up to authenticate your server, 
make sure that you do this. Do not skip that part, okay? Um, also, you can check your sender reputation. So MX Toolbox has a free tool uh, called Blacklist, and you can put in your server IP or your domain. So I'm gonna go in here and find my server IP and put it in here and click on blacklist check. Now, um, it looks like we're pretty good to go here. I got a lot of okays and it checked 87 blacklists and I'm on none of the above. So that's a good thing. Uh, so if you're struggling with getting your emails in the inbox, your if you have a shared server, this may be to blame. So put your email or your IP address of your server, of your email server in here and check. Now, if you find that your server has been blacklisted, there's a couple things you can do. One is you can actually email your email provider, your SMTP provider, and you can ask them to switch you to a more reputable server, okay? A lot of times they put the new people all on the same server and it very quickly gets blacklisted. So you can contact them and ask them to put you on a more reputable server. The second thing you can do is you can sign up for a dedicated IP address and I have uh, other videos on YouTube on how to set up dedicated IP with Send in Blue, for example. Uh, I'll put the link in the corner up here, but that's the second thing you can do. Now on those, your reputation is 100% up to you, so you really gotta be careful with how you're using that server, okay guys? Okay, now um, another thing that you can do to make sure that your emails are going to the inbox is you can clean out your list, okay? So any email provider is gonna be able to tell you um, who is, who's not engaged in your list or um, who's bouncing, you know, you're gonna have hard bounces and soft bounces, you're gonna have duplicates, you're gonna have typos. So you need to go in to your email provider. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in to send in blue and I'm going to show you how to uh, filter based on bounces, complaints, etc. So you're going to go to transactional and uh, logs and then you can go in here and actually you can do soft bounce, hard bounce, blocked, complaint, apply and this person was a hard bounce. So you wanna make sure that you remove this person from your email list, okay? Now, I actually have automated that um, in Zapier. So whenever I get a hard bounce or soft bounce, I actually send a webhook uh, and then I hook it into high level and remove the, the contact from any campaigns in high level so that I don't continue to email them. Um, I'll probably have to do that in a different video because it's kind of involved. But those are cool things that you can do with Send in Blue uh, and you can have webhooks like I said. Okay, so um, also the last thing that you can do here is you're gonna wanna make sure that your from email address in your campaign inside of high level matches. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it matches the email address that you have authenticated with your SMTP provider. So by that, what I mean, and I'm gonna show you, if you go to settings and SMTP and Mailgun, Okay, settings, SMTP, and Mailgun, and you look here, this email address that you have already authenticated with your SMTP provider needs to be the one that you use in your campaign. Okay, so let's show you here. 
campaign configuration, your from address, and your from name and your email. So this is the same. This is gonna match what I have already been using to authenticate in my SMTP provider. Okay, so this is what I mean. This, if this doesn't match the address that you've authenticated, then people who use Gmail, for example, are probably gonna see a little yellow bar at the top that says that this is maybe a phishing email, don't trust this email. If you've been seeing that a lot, that could be the issue, okay? So I hope this helps you guys to understand how to improve your email deliverability. And don't forget to go check out our free Facebook group in the description to get even more marketing tips and tricks. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future updates from me. I'll see you guys next time.